I have a great idea. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone and welcome to Central Oregon Living and Homestead. <laughs> so yes, today I have a brilliant idea. But before I do that, I want to talk about my fifth wheel. Now, the subject of this video is about mice and the war on mice. And so, if you have a trailer, a lot of you probably had to deal with the mouse problems. But I have not had problems with mice in this. I did at first, but uh, then we sealed up everything a lot better. And then we introduced from Home Depot, uh, mint. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I just lost it there. You can buy mint in packets, and you just go to the Home Depot, go to the critter department where the mouse traps are and stuff, and you can buy a little package of like eight little mint packets, and I would put them throughout my fifth wheel. And for the last year and a half, I have not had one critter inside the fifth wheel. They do not like mint. And so, uh, when you first put mint into your RV, it's pretty strong. <clears throat> but uh, I put it in all the cracks and crevices, the storage compartments, the whole works. And I gotta admit, it has been working. So, uh, if you're looking for a recommendation how to keep mice out of your RV, use mint. It's affordable, easy to use. They're like little tea bags, and you just put them throughout your RV. Uh, in the most unusual places too so anyway let's move on to the video so today guys is ranger rob's invention of the giant mouse trap yes the giant mouse trap how did i come up with this brilliant idea well in my barn here um was the container or the water container i used sorry the lighting's bad to uh Anyway, the water container that we kept our uh, chickens in. Well, I've since then emptied it out. Uh, it probably could be a scrub out. But a very interesting thing has been happening. Um, I've had mice get in here, and a lot of times they can't get out. And I'm going, okay. The reason I'm concerned about that is... I had a 25 pound bag of dog food, and I've told this in another video, in the other side of the shop. And when I was moving things around, I went to grab the bag thinking it's heavy, and just about threw it into the air because it was empty. It looked full, <laughs> it was empty. And I looked down at the bottom, and there was a little hole at the bottom, and the mice ate the whole thing. So I know I have some very fat and healthy mice in here like a lot of them and so i thought let's convert this bugger i'm going to leave it right here because i've been catching mice in it accidentally i'm going to put water in it and uh i'm going to put a little dowel on the top of it and a little walkway and some peanut butter and let's see what we catch so let's be like a two-day video now i'll warn you right now if you are not a homesteader and you don't have to deal with this this kind of stuff catching rats or catching mice or moles and stuff and and uh you don't have the heart for this stop the video now move on to our other stuff um i'm not going to actually show you the mice falling in and and then not being able to swim let's put it that way um and youtube wouldn't like that either uh anyway we're going to build this thing and then we're going to see the results and see if my giant mouse trap works. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is find a dowel. And so I found a couple of wood dowels, but I'm not sure what the width is of my water container. And so I'm going to take a measuring tape out there. And we're going to go measure it and look around and see if I can find some more dowels. I'm bound to find one. And we're going to keep this simple. This is not high tech. <laughs> so, far from high tech. So uh, all I'm planning on doing is taking a, uh, a dowel and get the right length. I'm just going to put two nails at the end and lay it across so it rolls really easy. 
and then I'll put something like electrical tape or something to keep it from moving around and falling off uh, and uh, put peanut butter on it and I'm gonna actually put a little walkway to make it easy for the little mace to come visit my little stick so let's go find a stick and let's do some measurements So we don't want my stick to be any longer than, oh, let's say 20 and a half inches. Two little, two little nails, now I'll do the trick. Okay, I'm going to put a little silicone on each hole, tap the uh, nails in just a little way so I don't split the wood, and then uh, we'll get it set up on the uh, water trough. Alrighty, we got our stick with the little nails on it. We'll lay it right here. Nice, nice and rolly. So now I just gotta take some electrical tape or something and just make little stoppers on both sides so it doesn't fall off. So let's get that done. Alright, so I just put some little sticks up here, little pieces of wood, here, here, and here, uh, to make it really easy for them to come up here. So the only thing else I got to do now is add water and peanut butter. And okay guys, I know it's dark, but it's time to get the secret weapon, peanut butter. So let's go uh, put some peanut butter all around the, the uh, dowel and uh see how this works yes i know it's dark in here but what we're going to do is put a little peanut butter on the dowel right there and maybe a little bit on some of the little sticks just to entice them up here and then i'm going to add some water and uh and then tomorrow we'll check and see how well i did Alright, so the peanut butter has been installed. I'm just going to throw some water in here and then let's check out this giant mouse trap. Okay, I got my hose. We're working our way to here. My water tap's far away. So we're just going to put about two, three inches of water in there. And uh, so the the, the mice have their demise and uh, we'll see how well it works I gotta come way over here to turn on the water all right water is on let's go check okay looks like we have water going here let me get a couple inches in here or we'll shut her off and uh 
see if my brilliant idea worked. Good morning. It's the next day. And now it's time to see if the ultimate giant mouse trap made by Ranger Rob was effective or not. This could be a disaster or it could be a whole new design. A practical giant mouse trap that everybody could buy. Let's take a look. Okay, I seriously have not looked yet. So when he we either are going to be disappointed together or it's adequate or oh my goodness. So let's take a look. It's going to be dark. We're going to take a look. Huh. Well, it worked. It caught. I don't know if you can see very well, but it caught five mice. I'd call that a success. One mouse trap would only catch one mouse. Mine caught five. So, uh, I give it a thumbs up. What do you think, guys? So, I want to thank you very much for joining me today. Um, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks to you, it helps us grow. You need to tell the world of these fan. You've just been exposed to the Ranger Rob giant mouse trap. <laughs> I think the whole world should see it. I'm sure some little modifications can make it even better. But it was adequate. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining our family. Please leave your comments below, and uh, we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So, <clears throat> please be safe. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.